Hey, what's going on? Benji Kaiser here today talking about how to pick the best software as you're becoming a graphic designer. So if you're just getting into the industry, you're wondering which software should I pick up to be a graphic designer? There's, there's quite a few options out there now. And you want to know, okay, which programs are used for the specific uses? Well, you landed on the right video. This will help you really understand how to pick and use each software correctly. And before we jump into the content, if you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. I put out videos in the graphic design industry helping you either get into the graphic design industry or scale your graphic design business. Now, one thing I want to mention is the email list. If you've yet to jump on the email list, I highly recommend doing so. I put out exclusive content there before it ever hits the channel. You can grab a link for that in the description below. Also, if you have a question, there's a question submit form down there as well. All right, so let's jump into the best software for graphic designers. Now, the first thing you wanna think about is what is the industry using? So what's the industry standard? How can you communicate with other graphic designers, with other creatives in the industry of creativity? Well, one of the most popular products is the Adobe Suite. So Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, and all the connecting softwares that they have released. This has become the industry standard. So in my opinion, if you're not on the Adobe suite, then in a sense, you're, you're being left behind. And if you're curious what the Adobe suite is, I've linked that in the description below. You can go check that out, get a little bit more info on every product that they offer. And it is $50 a month for a professional subscription and around 25 to 30 for a student subscription. I definitely recommend getting that student subscription. If you are a student, save you a lot of money. All right, so why is the Adobe suite what you should go for. Well, like I said, everybody uses it and right now it is the best on the market. They're constantly putting out new updates. They have each product built for a specific use as a graphic designer. So for instance, if you're doing photo editing, you need to be using Adobe Photoshop because you'll be masking out photos, you'll be airbrushing, maybe skin, you'll be changing colors and tones and there's so much you can do in Photoshop. If you're an artist, you want to be doing digital paintings, you're going to be using Photoshop. So that is why Photoshop and specifically the Adobe's product line is so important. So the reason you'll be using Photoshop for all of those needs is it is a pixel based program. It uses tiny little pixels to build up each of your designs or each of your pieces and then that is what forms the final product. Now let's shift on to Illustrator. So Illustrator is great for logo design, for creating little vector or graphic images. And the reason I use the word vector is because it's a vector based program. So what that means is that it is very smooth around the edges. You're not going to get pixelation because compared to the pixel based version of Photoshop, it is scalable. So you can make your graphics or logos very large or very small and it will not lose quality. So make sure you're never designing a logo in Photoshop and you're never trying to paint something in Illustrator. Each program has their specific uses. All right, now let's look at InDesign. This is the packager as I say it. And what this does is this takes your Photoshop assets, your Illustrator assets and your images and, and everything you need and it funnels it down into a deliverable software. It has grids, it has page layouts, it has great structure for you to finalize your documents. Whether you're making an ebook or you're just putting a post to the web, I think InDesign is very important because it has all the export qualities, it has the ability to save in multiple files and it's just a very robust program for laying out designs. And so I think many people are overlooking the power of InDesign and they need to be using it. So as you're getting into the graphic design industry, don't forget to use each product for its specific uses. Now I know there's many other products like Corel that can be useful for graphic design, but I just think you need to be up on the industry standard. I think it's very important. So I hope this video has helped you about the best software for graphic designers. And again, if you have any questions, pop that in the submission below. Hit up that email list so you don't miss out on any of the new content. We're actually be coming out with some merch, some shirts soon, so you definitely want to keep an eye on the channel for that. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com, and I will see you here on the next episode.